Hey guys, so let's get it going. Send me some questions and uh, I'll post it at noon. See ya, talk to you later. A lot of friends, I made a lot of, a lot of friendships over the years in Montreal, so, so uh, still in touch with a lot of, a lot of people from, from around Montreal and, and even Quebec, obviously, and, uh, and the fans, the, the hockey environment, you know, playing for Montreal, Bell Center, you know, those things. They, uh, uh, there's something to to remember, and and when I when I see guys play play some games and and you know see the crowd, I always I always uh, kind of having still some uh, some chills, and you know you don't have it everywhere in the NHL, and and Montreal is the best place to to play, and and uh, I miss those fans for sure. Best friend, uh, well. Obviously, hockey business is it's 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 tough sometimes, and you have a lot of friends over that they leave leave the team, and you don't see them as often as as you used to uh, when you play together. But but uh, obviously, stayed in touch with some of the guys that that they are still on the team, like uh, Lecky and Gally, and sometimes Pricey, and and uh, from past years, all those Czech guys, of course, uh, keep seeing them in the summers here, and and now uh, more often. And um, Mark Strike, maybe, maybe you know, it was he was he was the one that that we started all together uh, in my first year, 2005, 2006. Uh, roommates, so we we still kind of chat. All time helps memory. Too many, way way too many. But uh, of course, playoff runs 2010 and uh, another one we made uh, uh, later on and. Um, all the retirement jerseys nights, you know, meeting all those legends and, and being part of those nights was, was very special. And I'm still uh, seeing the pictures I have here in, in, uh, in my house about uh, 100 year Universal Montreal Canadiens and, and seeing the, all the players that played for Canadians. Very fortunate to be, to be part of that night and part of the organization like that and, and uh, still remember all those little things. Yeah, trying to trying to get up in the morning, you know, have a breakfast and have a little workout, and then do some cardio in the afternoon if it's if it's possible. Of course, it's not as as easy as as, uh, as in a normal life, but but and things are getting better here in Czech Republic, so uh, we're slowly getting back to normal life. So hopefully, hopefully we can put that routine back to almost normal. About Marky. I have to laugh just to just to uh, remember a couple of those, but but it's hard to it's hard to tell. I mean, it's he, he was a very funny guy. As I, as I mentioned before, one of the best players I played with made made the guys around him better and and the team better, and and uh, it was fun to play with him. And his fun fact is just so many. It just it looks like he doesn't talk to anybody, but when he did, it was something. So. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Nick Suzuki, number 14. Good one. I like it. I like it. He's doing a good job. Little baby like this, but yeah, he's doing a good job. He's going to he's gonna uh, be a big part of the team moving forward, and he's exactly a player that, that fans uh, need and, and uh, want to have on the team. And uh, I, I'll, be, I'll be watching closely for sure. That's a good one. Uh, I never had a poutine, <laughs> not once in Montreal in 15 years. <laughs> Good question. I like this one. I'll turn it around a little bit. It's uh, I've seen some uh, arguments between Galley and Lecky, and uh, I've seen Galley talking about himself like good soccer player or something like that. Uh, let me put this straight. Everybody is the best soccer player, but Galley worst over past uh, 10 years or i don't know how long he's on the team already <laughs> brendan gallagher asking me what i learned from him over the years that was the favorite thing i learned <laughs> can't stop laughing <laughs> good one galley again it wasn't soccer obviously and uh, let me think uh, what i learned from you and the favorite thing but we'd be here way too long i would have to come up with something so Anyway, next question. <laughs> what I learned from Saku Koibu, it's uh, of course he's been he's been a legend, great player, and uh, of course 
everything he he uh, he went through. We can all learn from and the, the way he came back and 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 played for Montreal and and the person he was. Glad I, I was I was uh, I was able to to meet him to be to be his teammate and look up look up to him as a as a rookie and uh, of course uh, the way uh, how professional he was and and again I have to of course mention that everything he went through the way he was in the team. Hey guys, thank you for sending question. Uh, it was fun, and uh, I hope to see you soon. Take care.